come, all right? If I get in, in no gate, because a lot of times we'll go to our knees to try to pass. I don't know about you guys, but it can be, for me, it can be really hard to get by here. What's a, a lot of time what's gonna happen, we're gonna be fighting for this underhook, and we should always be looking for that underhook. Anytime that you're passing on knee cut or from, from this position, always on this outside, try to get your, your underhook, okay? But he gets his underhook. What we don't want him to do is come all the way up and get to either the single leg or my back or whatever here, okay guys? So, a couple things that we can do. You can, for one, you can come all the way down here and hook this leg and start pressuring down. That's one that we can do, okay? Another that we can do is come here, get a two on one, push on its head and take him to the ground, okay? And lastly, we can come through for the dorsals here, okay? Come through, pull his head towards you, take the other hand over. Now, we're not gonna come all the way like this, okay guys? We're gonna come over and get the gable grip and pull his head to us, okay? What's likely to happen there, if he knows what he's doing, so for one, we've stopped this underhook. We've stopped him from continuing to come through, okay? The other two are great, because they can help us to collapse him down right here <coughs> or here, but we're not threatening anything here. We're just stopping his advance. When I come through for this, this uh, darts, I'm not only stopping his advance, but I'm actually starting to threaten a choke. So he's not thinking about going forward, he's thinking about getting out. Okay, so that's why I like to threaten uh, a submission to stop his, you know, to continue with my pass and get him to stop what he's doing. So, right? To start off to get this. If he's got this hook way up here on my shoulder, I'm, I, I'm not gonna go for this. If he's way up here, I'm, a, I'm just gonna pummel and go for, for the underhook and then drive him to the ground, right? The only reason you're gonna do this is because he's down here and he's trying to, you know, he's trying to come up for a single or whatever, you know, we're gonna come here and we can shoot our arm through easily. But if he's really high and you can, some of you guys are having trouble getting it through because he's here, that, I mean, for me, I'm just, I'm just gonna try to pummel for the underhook again for me probably, you know? Or worst case scenario, if he gets up to a single leg, do all of our single leg defenses that we did before, right? Put him back on the ground. Yeah. <laughs> we're here. He's where he's probably gonna be, which is around here or all the way tight, then I can shoot this through fairly easily. Pushing the head, this hand, wants, you wanna be right up against his shoulder and his neck with my thumb up. Because now I can easily come to this gable grip and bring my elbows in tight. Okay guys, that's what gets to that position a whole lot easier. If you're only able to get your arm through a little bit, you probably need to lean towards this shoulder some because then you can shoot your arm through more. If you're staying up over him, it's gonna be really hard to get that arm all the way through. Okay, so I'm here. I, I, I can't get through all the way. I lean here and I can get this arm through. So I'm here, I go for, I go for this. Now, if he all knows what he's doing, he's gonna probably posture with his head back here, okay? And it, it's gonna be hard for me to keep this. All right, so to finish this, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna make sure this leg stays hooked, okay? I'm gonna go all the way behind his head, all right? So I'm here, I, again, I gable grip, and I'm pushing my elbow towards here. He goes to posture his head. I'm gonna hook this leg, my leg that's on the bottom, and I'm gonna come over his head. And come here, guys. We're gonna tighten in on this, we're gonna get the gable grip, and we're gonna be dropping our elbow down, but he manages to, to extend his head out, okay? This isn't good for us. What we're gonna do is make sure we keep this foot, that's on the bottom, hooked on his leg so that we can bring it with us. Important point here, guys, when we go over the top, don't post down onto your elbow, okay? Just like when we're doing the, a, a straight ankle lock to the bottom side like that, Make sure you come down to here. Okay, he's gonna be able to get away if we don't, all right? And we're gonna be hard for us to turn the angle. So make sure you don't end up on your elbow here. You go all the way over. Come under catch, gable grip. Bite down, he comes against that. I'm gonna hook this leg and I'm gonna come all the way to my shoulder. See, my hands come through. 
I'm going to make sure that I get the figure four on my on my legs here, so he can't get his leg away. I'm going to I'm going to pull, bite down on my elbow, and I'm going to extend my hips. Okay. I'm bridging into him here. All right. Okay. Let's come up. Shoot under. Grab the back of his head. Pull it towards you. Gable grip. Drop your elbow. Of course, if we can finish. If we can finish the darts, great, right? But, but that's it's not happening for us. He extends. We're gonna keep this leg cracked. We're gonna come all the way over his head, all the way down to our to our uh, shoulder. We get the figure four, so he can't get our leg his leg away from us. Pull this through just slightly. Keep his head against my breastplate, and now I'm gonna extend my hips. So it probably would have been a good idea to lead with this, so sorry about that. But, um, so let's talk about actually finishing this sort of modified Darsh choke, okay? I think I talked to some of you guys about this, but this might help us in this position. So I shoot through, I push his head towards me. So when I, when I come through, guys, I wanna try to, I kinda kinda lean towards my shoulder here so that I can pull this as far back as I can up against his, his neck and his shoulder here. So you get my hands all the way through. I'm pulling this towards me. Now my hand's just going to stay on top of his head and gable grip here. Now I want to try to bring my elbows together. I don't want my elbow out here pushing down. This is not nearly as bad. Okay? I'm going to try to bring my elbows together here. Now, the way I can finish this without actually going to a normal uh, darsh choke is I'm going to just act like I'm going to take my shoulder ground. You're not going to have to as long as you have this in tight here. I'm going to start going towards, like, taking my shoulder. If I really were going to go hard on somebody, you know, MMA or something, I go and throw my shoulder to the ground, and it's going to, it's going to be nasty, okay? Because I didn't move but about six inches, and he was ready to tap. The key to that is, and everybody's trying to keep their elbow out here, is that you bring this elbow in to where they're close together, okay? So, a little bit easier one to finish, okay? That's what we're shooting for. But what happens is, is that they feel it coming. They, they notice that we're getting either close to this gable grip or that we've gotten it. And before we bring our elbow in, they extend their head out away so that we're not gonna be able to drop into that. Okay? So that's where we're getting to this position. The modified um, Darsh choke that we're doing, I call it the Rogan because I, I saw him do it. On it. It's the only thing I've ever, it's about the only thing instructional I've ever seen him do or any jujitsu actually see him <laughs> online doing. But so when we do this one, one thing that happens a lot, so we're here, we push their head in, we lean towards, almost like we're putting our ear on their back so we can get our hand all the way through here, okay guys? And this sets us up. We're gonna keep our, our hand so that their head is pulled in towards us and we're just gonna slide over to the gable grip. Now what's happening for a lot of you guys is you're stepping up and you're wanting to get close to them and tight, which is not a bad instinct, but it gets my body in the way of dropping my elbow in. So kind of like a cutter choke, the, what makes this really tight is when I can drop my elbows really close together here, where I get them tight, close together. If it's out here, this isn't so bad. So if I get my elbows really tight together here, I don't have to go anywhere near my shoulder when I drop. When I start to drop towards my shoulder, it's gonna, he's gonna tap really fast. If my elbow's out here, it's not putting nearly as much pressure, and it's gonna be hard to get that tap. That's why you're having to go all the way down to your shoulder to get it, okay? All right, on three.